my name is Osley Anderson and I am the 2016-2017 Miss Burke. At the age of three, I was diagnosed with a speech impediment and during that time it was very hard. So I did speech from to the age of three all the way up to the eighth grade and I graduated from Charleston Development Academy with all honors and I went to Burke High School and I was enrolled in the AP program and also doing honors from ninth through what's 11th grade now. So I did the classes every day, mm -hmm. Monday through Friday, um, probably in the evening around like 12 to 2 basically every day. Mm -hmm. As a child, do you feel like, um, did it make you more shy? Did it make you more reserved to talk to people or did it help? Or like, how were you like as a child? Coming? Well, all together, actually shy, reserved, and it basically helped me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm very not, I'm not outspoken. I am very shy. I don't like to come out. I don't like to do anything until now after I win this and a band and RTC. So. Mm -hmm. My AP teacher, Ms. Keel, and she nominated non me <laughs> non to be Ms. Burke. I just did it for fun, but actually, as the days went on, oh I might go away. So I was like, let me just give it a try. And... So basically, the pageant, we had to do an intro dance, with intro dances, which were all the contestants. First, actually, we start off with an interview. Mm -hmm. Then we had an intro dance. And then we had our business wear, then our talent, and then our gown. What are some of the things you have going on in school where your teacher felt like, this girl right here mm -hmm. is the person that we need to nominate? Well, I'm very known in school, and my mother is Even though you're quiet? Kind of. <laughs> Actually, my mother is very known in school as well. <laughs> we know that she is 100% behind me. She'll support me and do mm -hmm. anything for me. And she knows she wants the best for me, so... I guess the teachers connected with her, be like, this parent is behind her, behind her child, and they like that. So we like, well, I think Isaac can actually run for Miss Burke, so. Flag girl, well, section leader in the band, mm -hmm. flag. I'm first lieutenant ROTC. I am in the career club, nature club. I'm part of the Delta Cotillion program. How about your grades? Oh, my grades are phenomenal. Easy <laughs> grades. Phenomenal child. Y'all yeah. heard that. Heard <laughs> Did you have a stiff, Good, a stiff so. competition? Was it a lot of competition? It, you felt? No, not, it wasn't a lot. It wasn't we as all as it. did well. Um, okay. You know, everyone came to win, so mm -hmm. everybody thought there was really no competition. I wouldn't say that, but you know, we all did our thing. And yeah, we all queened as being. Okay. A lot of people thought I was the underdog, like basically, like. But she's not gonna do this on stage because at practice I used to practice very like didn't really care, just like go over it and then leave. But everyone was like, Why are you practicing like that? Why are you practicing? I was like, I got this, just wait to the actual performance and actual performance. I actual gave performance will be downloaded to my phone and um I will we'll have the entire clip of the whole entire pageant and then I will be able to distribute the pageant to um, the syllabus magazine. And so now you are Miss Burke. That and that's official. You are you are the Mrs. Burke. So now, what do you plan on doing with that title? So what's what's next for you? And um, we're going to what grade? Twelve. So you're going. So you're going. You're about to be a senior. So during your senior year, what do you, what are your plans? My plans are to have projects for the boys and girls, um, helping out in the community, having a lot of activities, basically having a lot of positive positive activities and things for the kids in school, a lot of trips. And one of my questions were what would be an uh, avenue for kids and I said basically a lot of kids are going through peer pressure, sex, bullying, drugs and basically I just want to have a discussion about those and basically talk to them and be like it's okay. So you where do you see it. yourself in five years? Because you're how old are you? 17. 17. So where do you see yourself in five years? Ooh. College. Yes. So you're in the. Are, do you plan on going to the military or are you plan yes, on going no. to college? Okay. So five okay. years, I see myself graduating from college and listing in the military as a commission officer mm -hmm. while working towards becoming a nurse and having a big house, 
husband and probably two kids. And five years. Uh, what is it that you think could help more teen girls like yourself become want to become more involved, want to uh, do more things with the community, and want to make good grades, and just want to be positive instead of being like ratchet? What is it that you feel can we can uh, give to them that would help them in that area? Um, basically, confidence. Um, a lot of. I basically say confidence and a lot of just groups, I guess, like a lot of women working together towards becoming helping girls. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, just a girls group. And I don't would. think it's a lot for like self esteem. I think self esteem mm -hmm. and confidence is the main thing because a lot of females and males basically are dealing with that, and I think that struggles them and holds them down to do activities and doing anything. So I think we should have a group. Do you think the teens today would want to be a part of something like that? What is it that you feel like the kids can uh, work? Are you, I know you said confidence and I know you said uh, things like that, but what is it that the kids um, in schools and whatnot can, bless you, Thank you. can do better at um, just trying to have goals, more goals? Because it sounds like you already know where you want to. And I know that have, probably has a lot to do with your upbringing and your parental system. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you think would, it would take for them to be able to understand and lay out their goals in that way? Because a lot of kids don't know what they want to do at your age, at 17. Mm -hmm. um, basically, grades. Make sure the grades are. Mm -hmm. That's the number one thing, grades. Make sure you have like a planner, basically plan out everything. Mm -hmm. And basically just... Mm -hmm. Parents. Mm -hmm. Also parents, make sure parents are 100% behind you, supporters and stuff. And once they feel that the parents are behind them, then they'll probably be like, hey, well, since they're behind me, I'm not going to disappoint them, so. Can you tell us a little bit about your school? Well, they, a lot of people are saying that Burke is a failing school. Mm -hmm. I don't think Burke is a failing school. All students are achieving greatness and we're being academically taught by our teachers every day to succeed in life. We have a lot of activities that students are engaged in and we have actually a lot of successful people that came out of from Burke. We have a lot of teachers that helps us. We have the principal. Um, basically, it's it's not a big, big school, but like mm -hmm. it's normal size and everyone know each other and we all have fun, but most importantly, the grades. So, it, and it is a good school. How do you feel about them trying to change the names? And how do you feel about all the controversy that controversy is, that's in the news all the time about the school? Do you, does it affect the students? More, well, it, some students it does. Well, to me, I know it's not true about work. Work is not like that, but you know, a lot of adults think that, well, since their kids don't go there, they just always name it Burke, like, oh, well, at least since Burke has so much fights, I don't want my child going there, so, so, so. I'm like, it's really not that, like, actually, when you get there, it's it's not like that. It's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. Well, every school has drama and stuff like that. But Definitely. Or anything else that you would want people to know about your school that to crush some of those uh, stigmas and some of the um, misunderstandings is there some is there other things that you think that we can do or that you want to say about your your high school um it's a real good high school we are the 2015 state champs for basketball oh, yeah. we have a lot of successful people that came from it mm -hmm. as the young lady raven sanders she's is there anything that you want to say that I missed? Um, God. God. <laughs> on a Sunday. Yeah, I'm glad. Yes, God on a Sunday. Yes, God on a Sunday. Shout out to Syllabus Maxine. <laughs> <laughs> Same.